Hey Taurus, welcome back. For those of you that are returning to my channel, um, welcome back. I'm sorry that I, for the delays, but as you all can see, I moved. So I haven't been on here as often as I used to, um, but we're gonna get back in the swing of things. For those of you that are new to my channel, my name is Deja. Um, I've already prayed and meditated over my cards. I don't read in a reverse. This is going to be a reading for the sign of Taurus. It'll be a love reading. So let's see. Let's get started. We're going to start by pulling some energy for you, Taurus. Let's see. Oh, wow. Ten of Cups right off the bat, Taurus. So you could be um, you're living with your, you or your lover. You could live together. You could have a family together. You could want a family. Uh -uh. You could want a family with someone that you're currently seeing, too. I'm hearing all of these things, Taurus. Yeah, because this person brings you happiness. This, I got the Nine of Cups and Ten of Cups. Nine goes to ten. So, it's like this person brings you happiness, Taurus. I'm hearing also um, good friendship with this person, too. So, I'm hearing like a friendship, a friend and lover. Um... And you can, like I said, you can either have a family with this person or you can see yourself having a family with this person. Wow, oh, nine and ten of cups. That's like back to back for us. Wow. Complete different energy from what I just was pulling. Let's see, how else are Taurus feeling? How else are Taurus feeling? Popping right out, Taurus. Page of Pentacles. This person, you might find them very pretty or attractive. I right, you or your person with this Page of Pentacles. I don't know why this uh, pinnacle looks so shiny and pretty. So, um, you find this person very attractive. I'm here an upgrade. This could feel like an upgrade. <laughs> This could feel like an upgrade to you, I don't know, from your last, or you could want to take things to the next level with this person. You could see yourself doing so. Um, you want to be clear. It's a lot more you want to know about this person or them about you with this Ace of Swords. I'm hearing clarity, but also information, especially with the page. It's like messages. Tell me about this Ten of Cups. I'm about this Ten of Cups. Um, the sun. Like I said, I mean, I'm also hearing you can have a son with this person. I don't know. I just heard that. Or you can see yourself having a son with this person. Or you can want a son with this person. This could be, you could want a new beginning. This could be a new, with this person. This could be a new beginning for you all with the sun card. But I'm hearing... I can see baby now. The rain is gone. I'm seeing like the rainbow in this Ten of Cups with the sun coming out. So with all Ten Cups and Nine of Cups, I'm not really getting new. This is somebody that you know or you've known or could have history with. Um... Uh -uh. But with the sun clarifying the ten of cups, I'm sorry, my leg itched at the bottom. <laughs> but um, with the sun clarifying the uh, ten, with the sun coming after the ten of cups, I'm hearing, Taurus, that you could, um, this could be a, either a new beginning that you're having with this person, or you could want a new beginning with this person. My nose is itching again, so yeah. Um, Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. As I say that, Ace of Cups can be like a um, that could be emotions, like heartfelt. Um, this could be heartfelt communication too. Love offers. I'm getting heavy emotion because I'm seeing all of these cups. I got Ace of Cups, Ten of Cups, Nine of Cups. Heavy emotion that you feel for this person, either you or them. And Ace of Cups, that's, like I said, that's um, 
that could be emotional messages too. I've gotten that for that. Um, new beginning, reconciliation too. Or it can be new with the Ace of Cups too, but I'm not really getting a new energy. But if so, because um, all of these, the Ten of Cups and Nine of Cups, I'm getting more famil familiar, uh, whatever. Someone that you have history with. It's tongue -tie, I'm tongue-tied. <laughs> but um, with the Ace of Cups, this can also be reconciliations too. Or like I said, it could be new. Give me the Nine of Cups. nine of cups in the lovers i'm hearing it could have been a fling because the nine of cups is like my drinking car um fun car uh night out car too sometimes especially with this lover lovers coming out could have even been a one night stand before <laughs> i don't know why i'm getting these random messages taurus but that's what i'm hearing doesn't have to be though but like i said it could have been just like a fling first um then you fell into this emotional deep heavy connection deep connection yeah so what i'm hearing Taurus, this could have been a fling something fun at first and it's like now you're feeling this um you find this person very attractive and it's like you're wanting to take things to the next level with the three of wands um ace of swords it's like wanting i'm hearing wanting to know more about this person or or you could have gained clarity about this person or learning more about this person and then with the ten of cups um and the sun like i said that's happiness too that's happiness new beginnings So it's like, it could have been a fling first and it's like now you're wanting a new beginning with this person, something new. I'm hearing that too. A wish fulfillment star card at the bottom of the deck. Taurus and wow, you have, these are both major arcanas and then you got the um, star at the bottom of the deck. That's another major arcana. And then you got the nine of cups going to the 10 Taurus. This is a lot of loving energy. Nine of Wands. Why is the Nine of Wands coming out? And Taurus, with this Nine of Wands, I'm feeling like you can be determined. Like you can see this as the end all be all with the world. You can be determined. Also be determined to have things your way. I'm hearing. But this is like the end all be all. So let's see about your person, Taurus. How's your Taurus person feeling towards Taurus spirit? How's Taurus person feeling towards Taurus spirit? How's Taurus person feeling towards Taurus? Really? Okay. Four of Wands. Oh. Could be a reunion. Could have a home with this person because <laughs> this is funny. For those of you that are new, you probably don't know, but I bake. So I relate the Four of Wands. To like four cake dows. This is the card of like um, stability. This could be reunions, all of that. But this is um, I relate it to like a cake foundation. When you're tearing cakes, when you got two, you got a couple. A couple is two, so you got two cakes and a tear cake is two. And when you're tearing them, you need the four dows for support for that top layer. You need that foundation, that solid foundation. I apply it to this card. I don't know why. Every time I see it, I see it as four cake downs. It's just something that I relate that card to. And is I've been proven. It's proven right. Let's just say that. But with the four of wands, I'm feeling that they feel that with you. I'm feeling that they feel that stability with you, Taurus. And this can, like I said, be a re reconciliation. This is also my chicken noodle soup card. Chicken noodle soup meaning... Um, people with that energy that is just like a familiar energy it's almost like the six of cups for those of you that are familiar with tarot um 
six of cups it's that familiar energy you know what chicken noodle soup you eat it when you're not feeling well it's warm pretty much everyone likes chicken noodle soup um it's comfort food it's comforting it's just chicken noodle soup so i'm getting that vibe too like this person feels very comfortable with you or you with them tell me more <laughs> oh wow the same cards coming out nine of cups so turn out the nine of cups uh, like I said, this could have been a fling at first, Taurus, with the Nine of Cups. Something fun. Um, but I'm seeing it as a burden. To That could have been a burden to either you or your person. I'm pulling for your person, so let's just say your person. This could have been a burden for that person. They could have wanted more with the Nine of Cups. They could have wanted that Tenth Cup that I see you now ready to give either you or your person because in your reading the 10 came out the 10 of cups came out first and then the nine of cups so um Taurus yeah in the beginning this could have been a fling something fun to do and it's like this person got tired it's weighs heavy on them they're tired of that and look what I peep at the bottom of the deck the three of swords this could have been painful there could have been some third party energy, some interference. Doesn't have to necessarily be another lover, but definitely could have been an interference. Um, but it was fun. So it's like now this person either they it weighed heavy on them because they want that stability. But it's like now they can either be feeling that, because I did see in your spread that um you want it too. You want to change in the dynamic of the relationship. So they could be feeling the stability with you now, or that could be something that they feel that they that they desire with you. Sorry. Sheesh, way too many. I'm sorry. How is this Taurus this person feeling where we at? dealing with the um water sign too Taurus or they could have that in their chart either you or your person has that in there could have that in your chart um, tell me about the chariot because both the chariot and the king of cups came out so yeah you could be dealing with like a water sign you can have it in your chart tell me about the chariot so this person could be uh rushing in to communicate with you or it could be uh the chariot it could be traveling towards you too but i see fast movement towards you from or i see fast movement from either you or your person it could be traveling towards you or it could be fast communication it could be dealing with the water sign like i said with the chariot and um king of cups or they could have this in their chart or you could be a father or your person could be a father this king of cups five of cups so i'm getting regret some type of regret with the five of cups Tell me about the five of cups Tell me about the five of cups i didn't ask how your person was feeling I, um five of cups just came out so let's see Tell me about the five of cups okay this is a lot but I'm seeing um, Five of Cups with the Moon card. It could have been secrets. It could be regret and secrets. Um, the Emperor and the Queen of Pentacles. Let me see if I can get clarity. Tell me about the Five of Cups. Spirit, can you give me some clarity on the Five of Cups? Mm -hmm, thank you. That makes sense. Five of Cups, and remember this was at the bottom of the deck earlier when I was talking about them um, feeling burdened by like just the fling, the fun energy. It was fun, uh, but I'm hearing that they grew t they're growing or grew tired of that. Um, so it's like now somebody could be feeling, could regret this third party energy, this heart, this heartbreak, this ending. This is heavy regret over the ending of a relationship. somebody regrets some type of ending either you or your person so okay Taurus here's the deal I'm getting 
you and your person, it could have been a fling, something fun in the beginning, you know, because this came out for both you and your person. So it could have been some, something fun in the beginning. Um, but your person, no, in your spread, the Ten of Cups came out, then the Nine of Cups. So I'm getting that you um, want to change the dynamic, either you or your person, of this Nine of Cups and bring that Ten this this isn't the ten of cups but change the dynamic of the nine of cups and bring that ten of cup in if that makes sense because uh this funness this fling this fling is weighing is burdening burdening your person either you or your person is burdening them um they want more stability with the four of wands um and i'm seeing Whoever had the um, the infrequency, the unstable energy, could have been some player energy, could have been an interference. Whoever had the interference of getting heavy that they feel regretful. They feel regretful with the Five of Cups. Mourning the loss or the ending of a relationship. I'm getting also that your person could they could either feel this way no this is more action i'm getting um either you or your person could be traveling towards you your person could be traveling towards you you towards them or it could be communication coming in really soon um and like i said you or your person can have water in their chart with the king of cups so let's see what's going to be the outcome with taurus and your person what will the outcome with taurus and your person be hold on i feel like that was a misshuffle what will the outcome with Taurus and your person be? What will the outcome with Taurus and your person be? So I'm getting either you or your person could be wanting to manifest um, peace. A harmony back into could be wanting to manifest balance back into the connection with the magician and the temperance. Tell me about this page of wands. Tell me about this page of wands. Uh, eight of Swords was about to come out. Um, with the Eight of Swords in that page of wands, I'm getting um, could be uh, taking a risk, rush, rushing in after um. Some type of blockage with that eight of swords page of wands and queen of wands getting heavy fire energy too towards either you or your person can have that in their chart but tell me more about the page of wands okay I'm getting this cup. Let me see. Let me shuffle. I got some confusing energy. Could be player energy, but I don't know. Let me double check and make sure, Taurus. Let me see. What's going to be the outcome of Taurus? I'm getting, yeah, I'm getting you can be grown impatient with this person. Either you or your person can be growing impatient with that. Because like I said, that could have been the cards that just came up before the, the, the Seven of Pentacles. I was getting like a fiery energy. And then I saw the, um, a fiery player, player type of energy. Then I saw the Queen of Wands and the Empress. And then I asked how you would feel about it. I got the, that Three of Cups. It's like a... I'm getting like a third party energy. Um, again, you can be growing impatient with this person with the Seven of Pentacles. Um, tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. 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 Tell me
it's going to come out again because this nine of cups keep hunting the, that's crowning the um reading you can be growing impatient with these nine cups Swords, but like I said, yeah, it's still I'm getting third party energy right now, Taurus. Um, with the three of swords, tell me about the three of swords, tell me about the three of swords. Yeah, betrayal. There was an ending. Either you or your person, this person's gonna betray you. Yeah, I hate that ending like that. The three of swords and the ten of swords, that's the ending. Ten of Swords, Betrayal, Three of Swords, Heartache. And it's going to either break your heart or your person's heart. Let me see. Because that's what I was getting when I, um, before I put those. Oh, look, I can't get no clearer than that death card. Um, and this could be happening soon or fast. Or it could have happened fast. And this has either you or your person up at night or feeling anxious. Because I hate to end you guys like that. And then it came out as the outcome Nine of Swords. Came out the Nine of Swords. How we did a remix like that because there's so much love in the beginning but i'm getting that either you or your person you're going to betray them or they're going to betray you or this could have already happened like i said tarot fluid this person could have betrayed you or you them if the three of swords and the ten of swords could have been an ending um especially with the death could have happened all of a sudden with the eight of wands and this left either you or your person in this nine of swords energy feeling um it's like up at night having nightmares sleepless nights um ace of swords wanting clarity wanting clarity wanting clarity i'm here waiting could be waiting on this clarity either you or your person yeah, this could be weighing heavy on your mind. So, apply it however it applies, Taurus. But I did pull this for the outcome. But this could have already happened. Because, like I said, Tarot's fluid. Um, but I do see... You know what? Actually, yeah. This could have already happened, though. Oh, wow. And as I say this, Taurus, that at the bottom of the deck. Two of cups at the bottom of the deck. This could have happened, Taurus. There could have been an ending with you and your person. With this Three of Swords and the, um, well, there was an ending with you and your person. With the Three of Swords and Ten of Swords. Where are we at on minutes? 23 minutes. Let me hurry up. So there was an ending between you and your person with the Three of Swords, Ten of Swords. There was an ending that left you or your person feeling grieving. Feeling betrayed. Feeling backstabbed. I don't know if you did the backstabbing or they did it, but somebody felt backstabbing betrayed and this there was an ending that left you or your person in pain um and then i also got that because either you or your person grew was growing impatient with this nine of cups looking forward to a ten cup somebody could have been a player because i got a, that three of swords that's third party let's be three that could be third party energy or interference there was some type of interference in the connection and now I'm getting that someone's trying to manifest. This can either be healing alone or peace and harmony within a connection. And the ending could have happened fast. All of a sudden with the death card and the eight of wands. Um, which left either you or your person in this nine of swords energy. This is, um, this can also be guilt and regret too. But this is up at night. This is sleepless nights. This is anxiety. Um, wanting clarity. With the three of wands, I was getting, um, waiting for clarity, reflecting on things, 
two of cups at the bottom of the deck and earlier with all that cup energy i'm getting that there's a lot of love there taurus there was just heavy player energy and some backstabbing going on so it's like now either you or your person is in this nine of pentacles energy choosing to focus on um Focusing on yourself, focusing on your pinnacle. Yeah, because this was weighing heavy. This came out earlier with the Nine of Cups. Um, and then Nine of Pentacles. That came out earlier with the Nine of Cups. That it was fun in the beginning, but I'm hearing that it became a burden. Because there was no stability. With the Four of Wands, the Cake Dallas, remember? There was no stability. And you grew tired of that with that seven of pentacles that came out. Are you or your person? Grew tired of that. Shoot. Anything else for Taurus and their person? Uh, eight of Wands. There could be fast communication coming in, like I said, Taurus. Um, but there definitely was an ending. Uh, any more for Taurus and their person? Just do one. Give me one. Cause that's too many. I don't want to do. Really? Give me one. But with these, this, this this does make sense to see Taurus. Either you or your person. Someone is feeling regretful. With the um and guilty with the uh, five of cups and the ace of cups. This can be emotional too. This can be a lot of emotion, heavy emotion, deep regret. But um, this can also be reconciliation, especially with the temperance, wanting to bring peace and harmony and balance back into either their connection or their healing on their own. Um, and then temperance came out again. Tell me about the temperance. Tell me about the temperance. Taurus, I always go over for y'all. I just didn't want to leave you on such a bad mark. Tell me about the temperance. Uh-oh. Tell me about the temperance, spirit. Tell me about the many i don't want four i'm sorry taurus give me one second let me see if i can get one for you tell me about the temperance spirit thank you uh temperance in the seven of cups i'm hearing back to reality too um, temperance that's like bringing like I said balance back into healing bringing balance back into your life this could be on your own towards either you or your person um, after these illusions it's fantasy tell me more about temperance oh tell me tell me more about temperance tell me more about two of pentacles wanting to come out what is it <laughs> Uh, like I said, two of pentacles wanted to come out. It it wanted to come out. So, um, yeah. That could um, be bringing balance back into your life. Snapping back to reality. Uh, tending to your obligations, too. With this two of pentacles. Juggling. Tending, tending to your obligations. Let's see if I can get an oracle message for you. Let's see if I can get an oracle message for you, Taurus. Any oracle messages for my Taurus is the Holy Spirit. Any oracle messages for my Taurus is. Inner Earth, you'll survive this new solution since be in beginning. So, Taurus, what I'm getting, because I did sense a lot of heartbreak in that um reading earlier, or in your reading, I'm sorry. I'm getting that you'll pull through. This can either be a new beginning period for you on your own like a new path you'll be happy either way i'm getting that with these cards and with the spread that came out it can either be a new beginning on your own on a new path or a new beginning between you or your you and your person um apply it how it applies but this is you'll you'll find those solutions to your issues inner knowing and this is going to be a new break new beginning for you taurus you'll survive this Either with or without your person, you'll survive this. 
So that's all I have for you, Taurus. Something's telling me one last thing, Taurus. Let me pull. <laughs> I knew it. Yeah, so I see what's going on. Taurus, you're walking away from something. This is going to be a new beginning for you. And you'll survive this. You're walking away from something. Either you or your person or whoever was um, feeling fed up, whoever had the impatient, tired energy with that Seven of Pentacles is doing the walking away with the Eight of Cups because I asked for, to clarify that furthermore. Um, but I see something new coming in for you. And like I said, this is the card of new beginnings and solutions. And you see the light at the end of the tunnel. So I see something new and exciting coming in for you. This could be a new commitment. So yeah, look out for that, Taurus. But other than that, that's all I have for you guys. If you're interested in a um, personal reading, my information's in the description down below. You can email me uh, if this reading resonates. I hope it does. If it resonates... Um, don't forget to like and subscribe.